So how did you, <laughs> lay off the sisters, man. <laughs> yeah, man, lay off the sisters, man. How did you meet Pimp C? Give me the story. Man, I'm in the ghetto mall in Sharp Town, man. Wait a minute, wait a minute, before you start. I got something to add on to that after you finish. So no, I'm in, go ahead. I'm in the ghetto mall in Sharp Town Mall, and I see this dude, right? And he got on some uh, mink shoes. I got on a mink coat. I said, man, those are some cold shoes. He said, man, that's a cold a coat. So I looked up, and he looked at me. He said, man, you Pimpy Kid, ain't you? I said, you Pimp C, ain't you? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, I, I wanted to just stop and talk, you know, for a minute about PMC, man. You know, ever since I started this show, yeah. that's something that I always valued. I always would would bring that element into the show. You seen it. That's how you yeah, discovered that's, me. Yeah, that's because right. I always would just say, hey, man, we in Texas. Yeah. And I ain't never really seen nobody rep the South or Texas like PMC in this hip hop thing. Nah. So that that's what really stuck with me when yeah. I first started listening to him when I because I'm a little older than him so I really that's what really made me you know pretty much understand that how much he put out to be you know pretty much to hold on to that title for me yeah. the underground king you know what I mean yeah. exactly so he really held that down you he know? did he represented it to the fullest man yeah and and, and Pimp and Ken here man this right here this here go way back with me. I told him about this story every time I seen him afterwards, man. We was at the D at DG's one night and uh I had that mm. blue hat on. Yeah. And, mm. and 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 I he I told him I didn't want the D, uh, DVD. I didn't want it at the time. I was like, I don't want this. Uh, man, I get it, man. I'm gonna get it, you know, I'm I'm trying to shuck and jive. I'm gonna get it from you, man. He said, Man, I'm gonna follow that blue hat till you buy this buy this uh D V D. Yeah, that's and, me. That's and, me. And, and the next morning we ended up in Tunica, Mississippi. He it, it, I don't know how he I didn't didn't plan it. I didn't know him, so ain't no way we could have planned it. Yeah. The next morning, he was going to some. The, I think they had something at that casino for pimps. Right. Yeah. And uh, he seen me in the store, and he said, "Hey, I told y'all gonna follow that." <laughs> <laughs> Man, you I, bought, I heard up and bought that DVD. Oh, yeah. I yeah, said, yeah, that's, "Boy, that's, that's some powerful <laughs> shit, there, <man. laughs> we, me, baby." We didn't even plan it. It yeah. was like, "Dang, yeah. man, I couldn't see it happening." But Pimmican, I heard you on that 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 one song, man. Um, Boy, that song two right type there, of man. Listen, yeah. man, that two type of dishes, Coke, 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 Coke or Pepsi. But the part that tripped me out when you said uh, about the uh, black girl pushing the car, man. I don't know how you come up with this stuff, man. You know, I don't know if you meant uh, this is well, see, easier to work with, huh? Oh, you. But, <laughs> but, but see, you know, in, in the game, right? You know, we look at it like you know, uh, white bitches brighter days, black bitches darker days. That's right? what you say. But, but it's not that we don't like the black bitches. You know what I'm saying? We love our sisters. Love but but you know white girls it's just like you know you got Peruvian flake and then you got that dust you know what I'm saying I mean, that's that Peruvian flake so what that means that white girls can go into the higher the, the holiday end or the height and they're not gonna get sweated but if a black girl comes they're gonna say excuse me might help you ma'am so you know that's why we say they that Peruvian flake that all American hunky we call it the funky hunky the Caucasian with the persuasion you know what I'm saying so that we call that for a reason because you know white girls really do make more money. You know what I mean? Because tricks will spend more money with their own kind than they would with a black bitch. You know, they look at a black bitch like a piece of shit. You know, like this nigga bitch. You know what I'm saying? They look at a white girl like mm. they might look at their wife or you know their daughter yeah. or you know their girlfriend. You know, and wow. they want a girlfriend experience with the white girl, but they know the black girl is only a temporary pleasure. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, I mean, being a pimp, you know, and being a, a psychiatrist and being a scientist, I understand the science of white girls. So when we when we big up in the white girls, we just saying, listen, man, if you are gonna pimp, man, you know what I'm saying? I mean, do some reverse slavery, mash on that white yeah. bitch like an Idaho potato. You know what I'm saying? I feel yo, you. give it to her. You know what I'm saying? Give it to her. <laughs> give it to her. Give it to her. Lay off the sisters, man. Yeah, yeah man, lay off the sisters. Man. How did you meet Pimp C? Give me the story. Man, I'm in the ghetto mall in Sharp Town, man. Wait a minute, wait a minute, before you start, I got something to add on to that after you finish. So no, I'm in, go ahead. I'm in the ghetto mall in Sharp Town Mall, and I see this dude, right? And he got on some uh, mink shoes. I got on a mink coat. I said, man, those are some cold shoes. He said, man, that's a cold a coat. So I looked up, and he looked at me. He said, man, you Pimp and Ken, ain't you? I said, you Pimp C, ain't you? Man, we, we never separated from that point. I went over to his mama house, man, and uh, we was over there, man. We watching uh, some of the movies I had coming out, and we just talked, man, and we just, you know, he just, man, he, he wanted me to break the game down for him. He said, Ken, how you do this? Ken, how you do that? And, you know, he was amazed with my skills and my knowledge of the game. 
You know, because Pimp knew the game, but he didn't know, he didn't understand it in depthly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he had been into some encounters with some pimps, but, you know, I mean, anybody to tell the truth, I was the best that really did it and got away with it. I mean, you know, I really did it big, you know, like really big, big, big. So, you know what I'm saying? Pimp Do you knew, remember uh, what year it was? Man, you know, <laughs> I can't, I can't, it might, I, now, it might have been, I now, now, I, I don't want to quote this, but I know it had to be after ninety nine. Okay. 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 Now, okay. now, but, 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 I'm gonna tell y'all a story that that you know, before I was really you know like into the pimp C yeah. shit, you know yeah. the UGK shit. I think that uh, that instruction album. I think we all end up on the same album. So if you mm. listen to that instruction album, that was in 2000, but Jermaine Dupri did it in 99. Yep. It came out in 2000, so you know, before I ever met Pimp, we was on the album together. Yeah, mm. okay, okay. And uh, when you, had you heard of Pimp C? Well, you know, I, I used to ride to the Pockets and Stones, yeah. Oh, yeah okay. I used to ride Man, to Pockets and Stones. Man, that Pockets and Stones was the one, wasn't but, it? But, you know, I didn't know him. As, I didn't even know who them niggas was. You know what I mean? I yeah. just liked the Pockets full of Stones, you know, because, you know, we riding in the hood. That was some hood shit you riding yeah. to. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.